Bangladesh Armed Forces, symbol of guts and gallantry of the Great Liberation War. Bangladesh Armed Forces, symbol of dependence of distressed people in time of danger and disaster. Bangladesh Armed Forces, symbol of trustworthiness in establishing peace across the world. Freedom is the birthright of every human being. In 1947, the Bengalis, oppressed and suppressed by the British rule, became a new colony of West Pakistan instead of enjoying the taste of freedom. The Bengalis, with longing for freedom, had to kickstart movement to realize their legitimate rights and get rid of oppression and deprivation by the Pakistani regime. And thus, the movement for rights later got escalated to the magnitude of fight for independence. The entire Bengali nation stepped up to join the War of Independence in 1971, following a clarion call by the greatest ever Bengali and father of the nation, Bangabandhu Sheikh Mujibur Rahman. The members of the armed and paramilitary forces, along with patriotic masses, including the freedom fighters, got on the final battle against the invading Pakistani forces in a coordinated way on November the 21st in 1971. November 21st thus turned out to be the Armed Forces Day, embodying the victory and advancement of the Bengalis as a nation during the War of Independence. Bangladesh Army came into being through the Great War of Independence. The Bengali members of the then Pakistan Army actively took part in the bloody nine-month-long war from their respective positions, standing shoulder in shoulder with the freedom-craving masses following father of the nation Bangabandhu Sheikh Mujib Rahman's proclamation of Liberation War on March the 26th, 1971. At this critical juncture, the then East Bengal Regiment, stationed in Bangladesh, then East Pakistan, the 1st East Bengal in Joshur Cantonment, the 3rd East Bengal in Saidpur, and the 4th East Bengal in Kumilla, revolted and directly participated in the Liberation War. On 17th April 1971, the Mujib government was formed. Three regular army brigades, S-Force, Z-Force and K-Force were formed at this point to expedite the much-awaited victory through coordinated and synchronized warfare. Three more battalions were also formed at that time under the East Bengal Regiment that joined the Liberation War. To provide artillery support during the Liberation War, three units called the Mujib Battery the Roshanara Battery and the Independent Rocket Battery were formed. Furthermore, the Directorate of Medical Services started its journey under the Mujibnagar government. And this is how Bangladesh Army did contribute unforgettably in the Great War of Independence. The birth of Bangladesh Navy was rooted in the historic six-point demands put forth by Father of the Nation Bangabandhu Sheikh Mujibur Rahman. Formerly, Bangladesh Navy had its journey launched through the Great War of Independence. A naval commando team was formed during the Great Liberation War in 1971, combining some Bengali submariners working for Pakistan Navy and other available sailors in the country. These young, valiant Navy commandos conducted the daring operation called Operation Jackpot in the country's key river ports. Through their operation, they succeeded in destroying some 26 enemy ships carrying food and logistics while staying anchored at different river ports across the country. Besides, Bangladesh Navy, which started its journey with only 49 fearless sailors and two gunboats, Bodda and Bolash, managed to destroy a number of Pakistani warships and commercial ships by netting 
ship destroying mines in Poshu River. The armed supply for the Pakistani occupation forces thus came to a total halt due to the naval operations, and with this, their morale collapsed. They were compelled to surrender as a result, which accelerated the path of independence. Responding to the call of Father of the Nation, Bangladesh Air Force actively took part in the Great Liberation War, while Air Force officers accomplished the important responsibilities like sector commander. During the dreadful days of bloodshedding liberation war, the necessity of forming an independent Air Force was strongly felt. With this aim, Bangladesh Air Force started its indomitable journey on 28 September 1971 with one Otter aircraft, one Dakota aircraft and one Alouette helicopter and some Bangali pilots, airmen of technical trades and civil aviators at Dimapur of Nagaland in India, named Kilo Flight. Kilo Flight first entering into the airspace of Bangladesh at midnight of 3rd December 1971 and conducted successful air attacks on the fuel depots in Chattagram and Naranganj with utmost bravery. Kilo Flight conducted 50 successful air attacks in Silet, Srimongol, Umidla, Dautkandi, Noshindi, Bhoira Bazar and other places at the end of the Liberation War, which contributed significant role for expediting our ultimate victory. The formal unveiling of Bangladesh Armed Forces on 21st November 1971, combining the Army, Navy and Air Force, ultimately led the Liberation War of Bengalis towards its final destiny amid a fiery spell of successive attacks and counter-attacks. Hence, November the 21st is known to all as a milestone in the history of Bangladesh's birth as a nation-state. And this paved the way for the country's final victory against Pakistan occupation forces on December the 16th. Five of the seven Birsreshto, the highest gallantry awards of the country, were given to the members of armed forces. An extensive program to reform Bangladesh army was initiated soon after the country's independence, thanks to father of the nation, Bangabandhu Sheikh Mujib Rahman's sincere efforts despite limitations of plenty. The army reform process began with the installation of three regular brigades formed during the Liberation War. 46th Infantry Brigade in Dhaka, 55th Infantry Brigade in Jashor and 44th Infantry Brigade in Kumilla cantonments, respectively. As continuity, the 72nd Infantry Brigade was raised in Rongpur cantonment back in 1972. During this period, all arms and services were introduced in the army with around 100 more units formed. Besides, new cantonments were established in Bogura, Shavar, Mirpur, Maimansingh, Dighinala, Ruma and Alikadam. Bangladesh Military Academy was established in Kumilla in 1974 with a view to bringing up skilled officers side by side reforming Bangladesh Army. Country's first informative and updated defense policy was formed in 1974. Besides, the President Guard Regiment was raised in July of 1975. Modern arms and ammunitions were added to modernize army. Father of the nation, Bangabandhu Sheikh Mujib Rahman, realized the importance of a powerful navy, considering proper maintenance of potential sea resources and economic security of the Bay of Bengal. Therefore, he, in his six-point charter of 1966, demanded establishment of Navy headquarters in the then East Pakistan. After the liberation, he procured five modern warships side by side, commissioning the largest naval training base, BNS Isa Khan, on 10th December 1974, and giving Navy the naval ensign to form a modern, trained and powerful naval force. To identify the country's sea boundary, 
this great leader formally enacted the Territorial Waters and Maritime Zones Act 1974. Father of the nation, Bangabandhu Sheikh Mujibur Rahman, dreamt of building a modern, powerful and professional air force, considering the geographical location, scope and prospect of economic development and military strategy of Bangladesh. Soon after the independence, the then ultra-modern MiG-21 supersonic fighter aircraft, AN-24 and AN-26 transport aircraft, MI-8 helicopter and air defense radars were inducted in the Bangladesh Air Force under his visionary and firm leadership. Huge modernization and development schemes have been taken for the army during the immediate past and present tenure of the incumbent government following Father of the Nation, Bangabandhu Sheikh Mujibur Rahman, introduced army development initiatives. The Forces Goal 2030 has been set in the light of Father of the Nation's defense policy to build a modern and disciplined army. As part of the Army's continued advancement, the 17th Infantry Division in Silhet, 10th Infantry Division in Ramu, Bangabandhu Cantonment in Tangail, 7th Infantry Division in Lebukali and Sheikh Hasina Cantonment have been established. The 99 Composite Brigade has been established to provide Bodda Bridge security. One Air Defence Artillery Brigade and Para Commando Brigade have been raised in the Army with two infantry battalions converted to Para Battalions and eight infantry battalions converted to mechanized battalions. To further consolidate the country's air defense, one MLRS regiment and one V Sharad missile regiment have been added to the list of armory and army aviation base has been established in Lalmunirhat. Importance is being given to development of training besides modernization of the army. Cadet training tenure has been extended to three years, while that of recruit training to one year. Army was given Shornodip for proper training and exercise back in 2013. Due to the hard work of Army personnel, this island witnessed unprecedented development over the course of last four years. Test firing of the Army's newly inducted Oerlikon radar control gun took place on 13th October 2019 at Nidania Air Defense Firing Range, Cox's Bazaar, under the arrangement of ad hoc 48 Air Defense Regiment artillery. Induction of this aircraft destroyer as part of air defense has taken forward the capacity of Bangladesh Army. Besides, a 40mm automatic grenade launcher has been added to the infantry division. Modern helicopters and military aircraft have been added to the Army aviation in line with the requirements of modern Army. Side-by-side -side modernization construction of regimental quarters for removing housing problems of the members of army in every cantonment and providing interest-free education loan deserves special mention. Bangladesh Navy, built as per the dream of father of the nation, Bangabandhu Sheikh Mujibur Rahman, has become a professional and powerful three-dimensional force under the leadership of Bangabandhu's worthy daughter and the country's incumbent leader, Sheikh Hasina. Modern surface fleet, submarine, naval aviation and naval commando squads have been inducted in the Navy in light of the Forces Goal 2030 to protect the country's vast marine resources and sovereignty. At the same time, implementation of Vision 2041 is underway to meet the future challenges. As part of the plan, five new warships, BNS Umar Farooq, 
BNS Abu Ubaida, BNS Protasha, BNS Darshuk and BNS Tallashi have been commissioned to the fleet. On 9th January 2020, BNS Omar Farooq and BNS Abu Ubaida and on 27th April 2020, BNS Shongram and Protasha reached Bangladesh. Meanwhile, Honorable Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina commissioned BNS Shangra. Besides, construction of a three large capacity landing craft tanks and high quality diving boats is also underway at Kulna Shipyard. Construction of BNS Sheikh Hasina base at Pekua in Kutubdia is going on for the maintenance of submarine operation, jetty facilities and expansion of future submarine fleet. Addition of modern surveillance equipment and modernization of combat systems is also going on with a view to increasing the capacity of naval fleet. The Navy ships have been decorated with helicopter landing control facility powered by 3D search and surveillance radar as well as modern navigational radar. With the tireless efforts of the present government, ultra-modern fighter aircraft, spacious C-130 transport aircraft, maritime search and rescue helicopter, air defense radar and missile have already been inducted in BAF. Most recently, a three-dimensional long-range air defense radar has been installed at the Borishal radar unit and numerical weather prediction system has been inducted to get the weather forecast. For the flying training of pilots, ultra-modern fly-by-wire control system Yak-130 combat trainer aircraft with digital cockpit K-8W jet trainer, L-410 transport trainer aircraft and AWR-119 KX helicopter trainer were inducted. An agreement was made to include C-130J transport aircraft equipped with modern avionics and sophisticated technology in order to make dynamic and modern Bangladesh Air Force. Bangabandhu Aeronautical Center has been set up for proper, safe and cost-effective maintenance and overhauling of different types of aircraft, radars and other equipment. Meanwhile, Bangladesh Air Force is overhauling fighter aircraft as well as using its own technology and manpower. Moreover, under Forces Goal 2030, new units have been included and manpower have been increased. BAF base Bongobuntu and BAF base Sheikh Hasina have emerged as full fledged bases. Bongobuntu Sheikh Mujibur Rahman Aviation and Aerospace University has been established for advancement of the country's aviation sector. Bangladesh Armed Forces have been playing leading role in national disaster response rescue operations and distribution of relief materials. The armed forces have relentlessly been working alongside the people under the direction of the government since the outbreak of novel coronavirus in Bangladesh. In the early part of COVID-19 outbreak, the armed forces conducted quarantine centers, ensured social distancing and conducted numerous awareness raising campaigns to make people aware. Members of the armed forces delivered their surplus rations to the helpless and distressed people across the country. The armed forces provided medical services in all districts through mobile medical teams. From the early days of COVID-19 outbreak, the Combined Military Hospital Dhaka and the Armed Forces Institute of Pathology have been providing outstanding medical services, including COVID-19 tests to civilian patients in addition to the in-service and retired members of the armed forces and their families. Besides, the chiefs of the three forces also handed over a check amounting to one day's basic salary of the members of all ranks of the armed forces to the relief 
and Welfare Fund of the Honourable Prime Minister. Under the supervision of the Army, One Minute Market, Shampriti Bazaar and Shena Bazaar were arranged to deliver daily necessities to the unemployed, poor and helpless section of the society. Alongside executing the roles in its native land, the Bangladesh Navy ship Shomudro Bijan has also delivered necessary medical and safety supplies to the expatriate Bangladeshis in the Maldives on behalf of Bangladesh government. Bangladesh Army stands always ready to deal with any national calamities, side by side, safeguarding countries independence and sovereignty. Preparations were made for rapid deployment of troops in potentially affected areas through round-the-clock communication and coordination with civil administration locally. Besides, necessary medicines, dry foods, manpower, vehicles and other necessary supplies were made ready for rescue operation. A visionary decision was taken by Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina in the year 2000 to recruit female officers in long course of the armed forces. Besides, the army started enrolling female soldiers since 2014. The Navy began recruiting female sailors, mariners since 2016 and the Air Force started appointing female airmen on this year following a directive from the Honourable Prime Minister. The female officers in the armed forces since their joining have been performing challenging duties with utmost efficiency alongside male colleagues. The female members of the armed forces have been discharging various responsibilities pretty successfully in UN peacekeeping missions too. The female officers in the armed forces have been made commanding officers, with one female officer even going as far as to earn promotion as Major General. Bangladesh Armed Forces have been playing a leading role in building the country and expansion of education as a process of making good citizens side by side defending the motherland. In this context, a whopping total of 128,000 students are in study at the Armed Forces run 84 schools and colleges, 6 medical colleges, one technical institute and seven universities. The offspring of military personnel as well as those of a remarkable number of civilians are getting education in these institutions. These institutions are achieving commendable success every year at the district, divisional and national levels. Apart from military training, the members of the armed forces have opened up windows of possibilities with regard to higher education by pursuing masters and PhD degrees from reputed universities and the Bangladesh University of Professionals, BUP. Specialized institutions have been set up by means of which special education system has been introduced for children with special needs from among the respective forces which has been appreciated at all levels. The generosity of our Honourable Prime Minister in the service of humanity has set a new example across the world and it was refreshingly acknowledged after her decision to give shelter to the forcibly displayed Myanmar's Rohingya citizens. For safe housing of the Rohingyas, Bangladesh Navy took the lead role for infrastructural development of Bhashanchor Island to make it habitable. The contribution of Bangladesh Army in socio-economic development of the country is even wider. Army is also playing an important role in the development activities of Bangladesh. Honourable Prime Minister laid the foundation stone of the pedestrian underpass constructed later by the Army near Shaheed Ramizuddin College on the Dhaka Airport Road on 12 August 2018. Apart from providing security to all projects during the construction phase of Bodda Multipurpose Bridge, the Army has also been working as a supervision consultant for Jajira and Mawa Approach Road, Bridge and Facilities Service Area Construction and Bodda Bridge Rail Link Project. Furthermore, the Hatil Chil Coordinated Development Project, Joy the Poor Singh Road Development Project, 
Mahipal flyover and Bahadur Hat flyover have been constructed with support from this force. Besides, the Dhaka Mawa four lane expressway was implemented by a joint venture of Bangladesh Army and the Roads and Highways Division. Honorable Prime Minister inaugurated the expressway on 12 March 2020. The Army is also responsible for the security of the Rukpur nuclear power plant. Alongside maintaining the peace and stability in the CHT, the Army has been regularly undertaking different activities under development projects for the development of socio-economic system of the people in CHT areas. In last one year, the Army distributed winter clothes, relief materials and financial grants in the Hill Districts. Besides, the Army did also construct educational institutions, religious sites for worshipping, passenger camps and bridges, among others. The Army has also provided medical services to 99,166 people free of cost in the hilly areas during the last one year. Bangladesh Navy conducts regular drives in rivers across the country to protect the country's fishery resources. To accelerate the drives, the Navy arranges patrol using the maritime patrol aircraft. The Navy has achieved the capacity to build ships with its own technology. Navy-run Kulna Shipyard, Narangunj Dockyard and Chittagong Dry Dock Limited are saving foreign currency alongside the development of local technology through the construction and repair of modern warships and civilian vessels. Besides, Chittagong Dry Dock Limited is planning to build frigate with its custom technology. Through this, Bangladesh Navy is transforming from a buyer navy to a manufacturer navy. Bangladesh Air Force has been actively participating in maintaining peace and harmony in the remote hilly areas of the Chottogram Hill Tracts with the activities of Bangladesh Army, BGB and other law enforcement agencies, civil administration for a long time. The Air Defence Notification Centre has recently been set up in Bangladesh after determining the Air Defence Identification Zone over the country's airspace, which is playing a revolutionary role in air defence, security management and economic development of the country. Beside modernisation of Bangladesh Air Force, infrastructural development and expansion have been continuing. As part of welfare activities, healthcare centre titled Sheba have been established at BAF bases to ensure treatment facilities to the families of Class 4 employees. Bangladesh Air Force conducted seed spreading activities in remote areas of the country and throwing seed balls under the reforestation programme. Bangladesh is a proud partner to the cause of keeping global peace. The role of Bangladesh Armed Forces in peacekeeping missions is acclaimed globally. As the largest sender of peacekeepers, Bangladesh has been playing a very important and pioneering role at present in keeping peace worldwide. The proud peacekeepers from Bangladesh have so far completed 54 peacekeeping missions in 40 countries over the course of the last three decades. A total of 139,271 members of the armed forces have glorified Bangladesh's name on the world map by way of taking direct part in global peacekeeping. While on this August duty, 120 members of armed forces have sacrificed their lives, with 212 more sustaining injuries. At present, a total of 5,255 members of the armed forces are serving eight missions in seven UN countries. The members of Bangladesh Armed Forces have established themselves before the whole world as the envoy of global peace by way of their professional efficiency, honesty, impartiality and humanity. Remittance earned from the peacekeeping missions remains one of the sources of the country's foreign currency which is playing a pivotal role in socio-economic development here. 
Bangladesh Armed Forces have been participating actively in a number of activities in the international arena, along with its commendable role in the UN peacekeeping missions and protecting the sovereignty and integrity of the country. As part of those activities, the members of the Bangladesh Armed Forces have been regularly taking part in international joint military exercises, trainings, seminars, inspections and sports. Besides, the chiefs of the three forces also visited various countries on different important issues related to the state and the military, as well as to further develop the existing relations of the army with friendly countries. The first and foremost duty of the armed forces is to protect the independence and sovereignty of the country. With this goal, members of the armed forces remain engaged in various training activities around the year to maintain their professionalism. In line with strict regulations, every member of the Bangladesh armed forces keep themselves ready at all times through difficult training. On 23rd January 2020, a training exercise was held at Chornodip by the 66th Infantry Division under the overall management of the 33rd Infantry Division of Bangladesh Army. Honorable Prime Minister of the Government of the People's Republic of Bangladesh, Sheikh Hasina, was present as the chief guest at the exercise and witnessed the training of the army. The annual marine exercise of Bangladesh Navy ships Exercise Safeguard 2019 was held for 18 days. Alongside different units of the Navy, the Army and the Air Force and the concerned maritime agencies of the Bangladesh Coastal Guard also participated in the exercise. The annual Winter Exercise of Bangladesh Air Force Wintex 2021 was held at all BAF bases simultaneously in the first to the 4th of March 2020. Air-to-air -air firing exercise of Bangladesh Air Force was held from 3rd to 15th June 2020 at Kutubdia firing range in Chortogram. With a view to increasing interrelations among the members of armed forces, exercise Bajraghat took place for the first time with joint participation of Army, Navy and Air Force in Kutubdia Island, Moheshkali and Cox's Bazar area. During the six days exercise, the armed forces conducted a comprehensive training program with all three forces, in which various training activities as well as successful amphibious assault was exercised. By way of successfully holding this exercise, a new horizon has been created in capacity building and having better mutual relations. Armed Forces Division is conducting disaster response exercise and exchange DREE since 2010 in coordination with United States Army Pacific and Ministry of Disaster Management and Relief. As part of this, DRE 2019 was conducted with the motto, Resilience Through Preparedness. Total 500 individuals of 140 organizations from 20 countries participated in this event. The Armed Forces Day this year is very significant as it marks the birth centenary of the forces embodiment, Bangabundhu. Spirited by Bangabundhu's ideals, the present armed forces are now further integrated and powerful. The birth centenary of Bangabundhu is being celebrated at every level of the armed forces with utmost importance and due significance, as is across the country. Various activities in this regard adopted by the armed forces have made the members of the forces, as well as the people of this country, motivated. Since establishment, Bangladesh Armed Forces have been playing an important role in the country's defence, while also helping to keep the national economy going side by side, standing beside the people in time of every danger and disaster, with their firm commitment to what's standing beside them in future as well. 
father of the nation, Bangabundu Sheikh Mujibur Rahman, while addressing the cadets on 11th January 1975 during the first passing out parade at Kumilla Military Academy, said, <laughs> মুখে হাসি বুকে বল তেজে ভরা মন মানুষ হইতে হবে মানুষ যখন কিন্তু আজ যা আমি দেখলাম তাতে আমি বিশ্বাস করতে পারি যে পূর্ণ সুযোগ সুবিধা দেওয়া যায় আমার ছেলেদের এই শক্তি আছে যে যে কোনো দেশের যে কোনো সৈনিকের সঙ্গে তারা মোকাবেলা করতে পারে অনেক দিন লাগে একটা একাডেমি একদিনে গড়ে তোলে না অনেক প্রয়োজন ইনশাল্লাহ হবে ভালোভাবে হবে এমন হবে যে দুনিয়ার মানুষ দেখতে আসবে আমার একাডেমিকে এ বিশ্বাস আমি রাখি Father of the nations, that very confidence has turned out to be a perfect reality today through the prudent leadership of his worthy daughter, Honourable Prime Minister, Sheikh Hasina. With good wishes for all, Bangladesh Armed Forces.